This is the video in case you have a little bit of a mess up here. So like 303.2 for a width instead of 300. So if I look at the front view here, uh oh, this isn't gonna work. I need this to be exactly 300. 303.2 isn't close enough. So I wanna make sure that that's exactly 300. So I am going to come and do a little bit of a move on this. <clears throat> we now we're using a dimension tool so the tape measure is kind of hidden. But it's underneath the dimension tool. And I'm gonna click on the tape measure tool again. Now instead of clicking the or or the red axis, I'm gonna come down here and click the side of SpongeBob's head. And I'm gonna come down until it turns into this blue dot that says midpoint. So I know I'm clicking on this line here. I'm gonna click once and I'm gonna drag it to the right. Click to place it and then type 300. Now this little bit here is what I have to move this. And I'm gonna move it with a push-pull, but I'm gonna move it first off a long way. So I can kinda see this amount. Sometimes you can't even see the amount. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out by using my push-pull, and I'm gonna pull it way out. Now it's 358.2, and that's incorrect for sure. So now I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to touch it to that line. See how I'm touching that cursor to the line, and it kind of makes that dotted line, and it sticks? I can touch it to the line anywhere, but I want to touch it to that line, and then it's back to exactly at 300. And that's how you fix an incorrect dimension.